Okay, we're ready. We're not ready. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Bob. Hey there guys, I'm Kelly. If you are brand new to our channel, welcome and thanks for joining us. And if you are returning to our channel, thanks for coming back to see us. Yeah, thank you, we appreciate it. It has been a while since we've made a cocktail. Yeah, it's been, well, we missed last Boot and Booze Friday. We did, but it has been a while since we've made a cocktail. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a cocktail. Yay, I love making cocktails. And by the way, this is Food and Booze Friday. Yes it is. And it is cocktail day. Yay, cocktail day. <laughs> So this cocktail is inspired from one of our last vlogs, I will link up in the corner, yep. um, that Bob had at the 1790 restaurant in Savannah. And it's really, you know, when I saw it on the menu, I was just like, okay, I gotta try that. Gotta try it. Number one, I'm a big fan of pineapple upside down cake. I love it. I would eat it every day if I could. I was a little skeptical of this drink. I wasn't sure what it was gonna taste like, but it ended up being delicious. It tasted just like an upside down cake. And it is very simple, so. It is very simple, so this is not gonna take very long. It's not gonna take long. So we're gonna have to put in some filler. Or not. Or not. <laughs> Or we can just drink our cocktails. Or we can. So like, we ready to get started. So yes, this is a pineapple upside down cake martini. Yes. We need to start with our cherries in the bottom. So I have two pre-sugared martini glasses, right? Yeah. And we're gonna do our cherries first? Sure. Okay. So each one gets a little, pardon my hands, they are clean. I promise. I don't believe her. You don't believe me? No. Maraschino cherries, one each in the bottom. And then we're gonna do a little splash of grenadine in the bottom. So that's what makes it looks like makes it looks makes, makes it, it looks look like, like the pineapple upside down cake. So a little grenadine syrup. There we go. That looks like about enough, don't you think? Yep. I think that's plenty. Okay. So ice in the shaker. Got it. Got it. And you want the vodka first? It doesn't matter. Okay. Just gimme, gimme. So two, uh, this is for two We're gonna do four cocktails. ounces of each alcohol. Yeah, so we're gonna start with vanilla vodka. And this is a two ounce measuring dilly jobber. Dilly jobber? Yeah. Measuring dilly jobber. Do you guys That's have any? Two. Four. Four. And then we are going to do the same measurement of whipped cream vodka. So four ounces, right? Four ounces. Two. So if you guys have never been to the 1790 restaurant in Savannah, it's a really cool uh, historic restaurant that's supposed to be haunted, but we did not see any ghosts, did we? This one. That one? Yeah. So, and then we're gonna do eight ounces of pineapple juice. So this makes 16 ounces, and each one of these glasses holds eight ounces. So this is the recipe for two. Two. And I need to measure this one. Did you see any ghosts when we were at this? I didn't see any ghosts. I kind of wanted to, but it was I very it was very interesting that it was built in 1790. Mm -hmm. So that building has been around for a long time, yeah. and it used to be a hotel. It still is a hotel. Still is a hotel. Way. There's rooms upstairs. So you can actually eat there or stay there if you'd like. You both. You can eat and stay there. <laughs> or you can stay there, eat there, eat there, not stay there. Yeah, or you can stay there and not eat there. And then you can shakey, shake, shakey. I'm gonna make sure this is on tight because it's pretty full. Yeah. I can do like Steve the bartender. You gotta do the little. <laughs> kind of a scary the cheesy thing. smile. Cheeky, cheeky. You're supposed to shake this really good because you want it a little frothy. Yeah, a little frothy. Looks like it's getting frosty. It is frosty. All right. So supposedly the grenadine is supposed to stay on the bottom so it'll look layered. We don't know how this is gonna work, <laughs> so we're just gonna go for it. Okay, it's kind of working. A little bit. It's mixing a little, but not much. That's okay. It does look kind of frothy, doesn't it? I wanted it frothy. Well, I know. It's supposed to look frothy. Super simple recipe, right? Yeah, very simple, but it's so yummy. It's worth it. See if it tastes like pineapple upside. I'm not a big pineapple upside down cake person because I don't like cooked fruit at all. At all. So I kind of stay away from. Yeah, our grenadine fruit. kind of mixed in, but you it can still, still see the cherry. It'll still looks settle. really pretty. It's gonna settle. So let's let it settle for a minute. Okay. See if it, because you're kind of. It's starting to go. It's starting to go a little yeah. bit. So it looks a little, well it's pineapple upside down cake. It's a bit orange anyway. Is so it? yeah, it's kind of orangish. Okay. And it's got that 
really yummy, yummy, yummy flavor. I can smell it and it smells amazing. I can, amazing. it smells really good. So that's kind of what it looks like. Let's get real close. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to give it a try? I'm ready, let's cheers it. Cheers, ooh, I'm gonna spill. Cheers. Bob likes it. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I could drink a hundred of these. Mm-hmm. I love the whipped cream vodka because it just kind of sweetens it up. You just can, enough. Yeah, you can taste it. It's alcoholic, but it's not, and it's not super duper sweet. No, it's not knock your socks off sweet. No, that is really, really nice. Or alcoholic. Nice. It's like a good balance between mm -hmm. the two. Taste that the pineapple. Really you can taste the pineapple. And the van with the vanilla and the whipped cream vodka, it's really it's, nice. It's just like eating a sponge cake. Mm-hmm. It really does taste like pineapple upside down cake. Mmm. That, that could be one of the better drinks we've made. I think this is one of the better drinks I've had. Mm-hmm. It's I really, mean, really good. Savannah food was a little different for us because it's low country cooking. I mean, it's good, but it's a little bit more on the, what do you call it? Homey side. Homey side. We really love New Orleans and we love New Orleans flavors. So New yeah. Orleans is a little bit more kicked up. Yeah, it's a got bit, a lot of spice. peppers, a lot of spice, a lot of stuff. Um, this is a little Savannah's more. Savannah's a little more mellow. Like with their salt flavors. and pepper kind of. Yeah, a little more mellow with their flavors. Yeah. But I tell you what, their cocktails. They'll knock were socks good. off. They were, every cocktail we had in Savannah was, was delicious. Amazing balls. And the biscuits. Oh my like, god. I could go to Savannah and just drink and eat biscuits. And their seafood is amazing <laughs> too. I love yeah. their seafood. Yeah. So. Yeah, like crab cakes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. But this one is delicious. Yeah, mine did end up mixing just a little bit, but. Yeah, but who cares? That's okay. But it looks like it, because if you look, you know, pineapple upside down cake. Yeah, it's got this, the, yours is a little bit more it's gradient. It's got the cherry, it's got the apple, I mean, mm -hmm. the pineapple ring and stuff. So. Yeah. This is the bomb. It's good. Make one of these for yourself. And let us know how you like it. Yeah, really super easy. Super easy. Yeah, you just have to get some specialty vodkas, but who doesn't need like 8,000 yeah, kinds what? of vodka? It's like, oh my gosh, like you know how to make a cream sickle? You just use that whipped cream vodka oh, yeah. and some orange juice. That's true. It's a cream sickle. It is. Yeah, it's good. But this is a pineapple upside <laughs> this down. This is a pineapple. <laughs> I digress, okay? You get me started on drinking. And we're I know, be, Bob's gonna We're gonna be like, woo! <laughs> All right, guys, well, I guess we will say bye for now. Yeah. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Yeah, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video today. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too yeah, so that you know every time we yeah, post. Give it a shot. Yeah, and let us know if you do try it. Yeah. Okay, so we will see you next time. Love you, bye. Bye. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.